After spending 33 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit, Keith Harward finally walked into the sunlight, a free man. Did you ever think you'd see this day? No, I did. More than seven years later, Harward now lives a quiet life in rural North Carolina. It's always a great day to be out of prison. But not entirely quiet. He's trying to get the word out about the junk science he says wrongly put him and many others behind bars. Bogus bite mark comparisons. What do you want the public to know about bite mark evidence specifically? That it's garbage. It's crap. You can't believe it. It doesn't mean anything. Harward was convicted in 1983 of raping a woman and murdering her husband. A so-called forensic dentist, who had helped convict a notorious serial killer, told the jury his teeth matched bite marks found on the woman's leg. He got up there and with his four by six photographs of my mouth and the bite marks and stuff and said, well, I was a past president of this and, and I helped uh, Ted Bundy go to prison. I was done. That was it. Three decades later, the Innocence Project took his case and newly analyzed DNA showed someone else committed the crime. Did you ever think you were going to get out? No. no. I was going to die in prison. Four separate governmental scientific bodies have concluded that bite mark comparisons aren't valid. The National Institute for Standards and Technology, the gold standard for measurement science, said in 2022 that bite mark analysis lacks a sufficient scientific foundation because human dental patterns have not been shown to be unique at the individual level. One 2016 study found that self-described experts couldn't distinguish between animal bite marks and human ones. People that were board certified did not agree about what a bite mark was. If a science isn't a science and it's, it's not reproducible and it's not reliable, courts of law should not allow it in, period. Yet bite mark analysis has been used in thousands of cases and no U.S. court has ruled it inadmissible. There are still many people still in jails because of uh, bite mark testimony. Charles McCrory has been incarcerated for 38 years, convicted of murdering his wife based on bite mark evidence. He spoke to us from a prison facility. Mr. McCrory, did you kill your wife? I did not kill my wife. After the original dental expert recanted his testimony, prosecutors offered him a deal, admit to killing his wife and go free. You refused to take it. Why? I refused to take it because I didn't kill her. The Innocence Project is still helping McCrory fight to clear his name. My faith is strong. I believe God is in control. Charles McCrory has appeals pending in federal court. The Innocence Project says more than 30 people convicted on false bite mark comparisons have been exonerated. Kate? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.